Okay, here we are uh, about to drain the filter separator. You know, uh, if you need to drain the filter separator for either changing out filters and coalescers once every three years or whenever the differential pressure reaches above uh, 15 pounds, that's when you need to change out uh, filter elements and coalescers. Um, the first thing you do is you're going to need to want to open this cam box right here. Right here you're on the back side of the filter separator right now I'm currently draining but let's see this ball valve will need to go from this position to the open position to allow top air into the tank to flush the fuel down this line and then down to this spring retracted, it's called a dead man ball valve. Okay, so if you don't have anything uh, blocking this area, it'll it'll go back. What we do is we just set a bolt right there to leave it open because you're gonna get around 200 gallons of fuel out of the filter separator, okay? And we hook uh, a one inch cam lock down here and it's going back into a uh, storage tank. Um, so that is a quick version of how you drain the filter separator.